So today we're doing something a little different. We're going on location in Fleetwood and to see why people love Fleetwood and are moving to Fleetwood. So let's go check it out. As we just left the office, we were heading to very famous landmark, not famous as a celebrity famous, famous in terms of everybody in Fleetwood knows where this place is, and that is the Save on Foods here on 152. Now, we are actually headed that way right now, but one thing that Fleetwood has started becoming is very traffic heavy. As you can see right here, where I'm sure Rick will start panning, we start getting a lot of traffic, but the good thing is, this is where the future SkyTrain is gonna be coming right around. So this traffic, although is very congested right now, there's hopes that it'll ease up a bit. So we'll see you at 152 at that Save on Foods. See you then. So here we are at 152 in Fraser Highway and all around us, as you can probably see, it's busy and we got Save on Foods International right in front of us. That's one of the things I was just talking about. Now, not just Save on Foods right around here. We got a great little fish and chips shop right around the corner. Now, rumor has it, I haven't been there yet, but Ricky says it's a great all you can eat place, possibly on Mondays. We're gonna go check that out. I might send Ricky to go check that out, right? But now, right around here is not only Save on Foods. This is just this area right here. Not too far from us, if Ricky points in that direction down there. See, we have the gas station there, but right behind there, you got the Safeway. You got the Sharper's Drug Mart there. Right now, if we pan all the way to this side, Rick, going down, well, we have a KFC, we have a Dollarama. There's so many shops all around this area, and we're not so far away from Guilford, which also has Superstore. TNT Market is not too far away either. Right, so there's so many places for you to get your groceries, whether it be organic or not, that's a personal choice, it's up to you. But the main thing I wanted to show you is Fleetwood not only has great homes and diversity for homes, but it has a lot of amenities for shopping, especially for groceries. So we're gonna go to our next location right now and we'll see you there. We just left the grocery store area. We're getting on to Fraser heading towards our next location. Now, one thing that people always say, they always talk about the weather here. Rick, if you can look at this right here, look at this weather, 27, it was 33 not too long ago. It's a gorgeous day. I'm not a fan of the heat, but it makes shooting a little bit more easier, right? So we're on the way there right now. I mean, but even if you look around us, I mean, there's so much development happening around us. So we've talked about this in earlier videos that there is an influx of uh, commercial units coming here. Now, when commercial units come here, it's because they are predicting a population growth. So you see that all around us. I mean, look, I mean, I guess Suki about to doing some more, uh, more work to his place. I don't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> you can cut that part out. <laughs> you can do much money. <laughs> Run by a car? And just be like, okay, and we're passing 88 and we're almost there. Just... 31? That's it. Oh, so we just passed 88 and Fraser Highway. Uh, you'll notice one thing around here is we have the McDonald's right here. Everybody that lives in Fleetwood knows where this McDonald's is. So we're almost at a location. And that's how quick it is, actually. It only took us maybe less than two minutes from that place to our next place. And these are major locations. So we will see you soon at our next place. Oh yeah, and we're passing Timmy's. There's actually two Timmy's here. One right here and one just down there on 156 and the other one near 168, not too far away. Okay, so right now we're passing Boston Pizza, our Angry Outer Liquor Store, PD, and right there we're talking about grocery stores. Another really great thing is we have our own Fresh Street Market right there. And there's another new restaurant that just opened up here as well, Hill House Buffet. I've ate here, great food. It, uh, it was actually really, really, I think it's, I think it's an Indian fusion. Uh, not only do we have Indian fusion, there's actually a really nice sushi place right down there, Wicked Campan right there, right? We have a really, really great sushi place in W and my barbers are just right down there somewhere. I know they're behind the bushes, can't really see them, but we're gonna highlight more local businesses. But we'll see you really shortly. 
So we're here right now at Francis Park. It's a staple in Fleetwood. Fleetwood has a strong sense of community. It offers family friendly areas. As you look around actually, Rick, you come around this way, you can see the playgrounds. You can see the diversity. You can see children playing, laughing in this weather. It's a place where people bring their families. It's a place that people want to be, which is another reason why Fleetwood is blowing up. It has a mix of fantastic huge homes, condos, and townhouses. Great for everyone. So as we keep walking, Rick, we're gonna actually be walking towards this library here. Um, now this library, it it's, has, it's, well, it's a library. I mean, come on. How much more do we need to talk about a library? But once you go inside, hopefully they let us shoot inside today. I don't know if they will. But it's a place that actually has a lot of halls if you need to ever book a room to do events. We've done events here. But actually, you know what? I also forgot to mention one thing about where we're standing right now. Fleetwood Days. We talked about it in other videos. Fleetwood Days is held right here. Fleetwood Days is another reason why Fleetwood has a strong sense of community. Those days, it brings everybody together. It brings local businesses, it brings realtors like myself, it brings arts and crafts for kids, performers, all right here where we're standing. Okay, now that we're done with the park here in Francis Park, we're actually gonna keep walking towards the library here. So Rick, follow me, let's just keep walking. Making me walk a lot today in this nice hot weather, by the way. Now we are at the Fleetwood Community Center and the public library. So we're gonna see if we can go inside, show you around a bit, and see what this has to offer here. If not, try to get it another day. But among just having diverse homes, green space for parks, schools, has a great learning center, which is one of the places here, but also not down the street, not too far away, we have the Fleetwood Rec Center, where you have your ice rinks, your swimming pool, right? Um, so, there is a lot of activity. Oh, they have the, the gym as well for those that want to work out like Rick is doing in some videos. Actually, Rick hasn't done those yet in the video. Maybe we get a workout video happening, right? But uh, we got to be a little bit quiet now because we're going to see if we can get in. <laughs> Let's find out. So we'd love to show you around the library, but we have to respect all those people studying. It's summertime, but not for everybody. People are still studying, which is always fantastic to know about and hear. But now if we, if we pan a little bit this way, the crossroads here is 160th and 84. Now where we were, as we were at 152 in Fraser. This is only about three minutes away. Now there is actually a daycare, right? Rick, if you look to your left, it's a pretty popular daycare. But I look around, I mean, look at all everything that's around us. I mean, it, it, it's hard, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm being a little biased because Fleetwood is my home neighborhood, right? So, but there's a reason why I chose to move here. And just some of those reasons is exactly why we're shooting today in Fleetwood. So, we are gonna go check out another location really quickly. We're gonna go check out that rec center. So we'll see you there. So we just got to the Fleetwood rec center. Now this is the rec center where everybody knows in Fleetwood. Rick, if you pan over there, that's Fraser Highway. Now there's actually a skateboard park and a few basketball courts there as well. Back to this side. This is the Aquatic and Fitness Center. Also, it has the ice hockey rinks. So not only can you come swimming, after swimming, get your skates on, go ice skating. That's not me though. Or you can go upstairs and head to the gym. But not only do they just have that, there's many activities here for children and adults. So they have a lot of programs that they offer here. There's a rehabilitation center, not too far away, just right in front of us. So this rec center is not only for children, but it's a, sometimes it's a common misperception that rec center is for only children. No, it's not the case at all. Adults, families, elderly, everybody comes here. So this is actually one of the prime spots and landmarks in Fleetwood. Now, unfortunately, we can't go inside, but there are many, many websites that talk about all the activities that 
the Fleetwood Rec Center has. So you can check out anything from ice skating events to swimming events to the gym. So thank you for coming along today. We are gonna talk about more and more attractions. Today was just a quick one talking about Fleetwood, but eventually we're gonna start talking about a lot of the restaurants but there's a lot of restaurants here. We got Boston Pizza here. Uh, we got a lot of uh, ethnic restaurants here. I mean, yeah, you have your Tim Hortons, you have your McDonald's, but there's so many hidden restaurants that people don't know about, and we're actually gonna explore those in a later video. So once again, thank you for visiting my neighborhood. And if you have any questions, like you always say, drop a comment, Follow us wherever that follow button's gonna be. I don't know what's gonna be in this one. But if you want that JC's home hoodie, how Ricky always says, you gotta make sure you drop that comment, follow the instructions, and Rick will send you out something. And if he doesn't, well, blame him. <laughs> Talk to you soon, you guys. Bye.